Hey guys, it is April 7th. It's a Monday and I just want to talk to you guys about some a few things that I haven't brought up in a long time. And what's funny is I had planned on doing this video sometime this week and Finn comes out with a video uh, regarding the same topic, bottom surgery. So I, you know, I haven't really and talked about this because I'm really a private guy and uh, I don't talk about my my sexual intimacy and, and that kind of stuff and but things have been changing lately and I've been talking more in um, my support group and stuff and found that I am I mean, I didn't find that I was more dysphoric, but the realization of descriptive dysphoria has come about in my conversations. So I want to kind of talk about bottom dysphoria and not necessarily, I'll, I'll touch on the bottom surgery, but that's not what this is going to be based about. It's going to be about bottom dysphoria. And so I'll just start with... Um, as far back as I can remember. I talked in one of my earlier vids about when I was a kid. I had to be about seven, seven or eight years old. And my boy cousin, who is 10 months younger than I, uh, we were in a grape field. And there was trees and we were climbing trees and stuff. And he had a pee, so he put it out there and, and, uh, I said, that's not fair. I can't do that. He goes, yeah, you can. Just pull down your pants and pee. And uh, I ended up not being able to do that. And I just felt really cheated because I saw him as my equal. And through the years, uh, you know, just going into a female's bathroom was bad enough. I And I internalized stuff. So a lot of people really don't see that I'm going through something or that something bothers me because I internalize it so much. And so through the years, you know, every time I sat down to pee, it used to bother me. It just, it drove me crazy to a point where I had to decide, you know, let it go. This is the way it is. Let it go. And so basically that's how I dealt with it. When I came into my sexuality uh, and was active, uh, I found that I, the dysphoria became even greater. I did not like or didn't allow any kind of penetration. And I um, I think the few times I think might have happened, I was just so drunk. I was trying to be normal, and it did, it it wasn't good. It made me. It just gave me a feeling I didn't enjoy. So uh, I do have really bad bottom dysphoria overall. Now I don't waller in it. I don't let it take and and take over part of my brain and my thinking process uh, when I go to the restroom it's a split second that I feel that way and then I file it it's the only way I can I found to survive because honestly we can sit and get depressed and angry over the deck of cards that we have been dealt all of our lives for us that feel different like this but what good is that doing you it's just making you look like You've got issues, and I mean issues that like you're over dramatizing, or it puts you in such a depression that you can't function as a, a productive human being in life. So what I chose to do in my life, like I've done in many other aspects of my life, is I allowed myself to feel that way, and then I said get over it and I filed it okay it's acknowledged I know you feel that way but what are you gonna do about it nothing so 
file it. In a more descriptive part of some of my dysphoria is when I when you sit down to pee, the sound. Uh, I never could stand the the sound that <laughs> I made. I wanted it to be a full stream, you know, just like the guys. And it wasn't always like that, and I couldn't stand that. And I still can't. But that's another thing that I deal with that I just file for now. And, you know, <clears throat> I have found in my journey while transitioning is that in the very beginning I have these ideas of how I feel and haven't really approached them in my transition yet. So I give a theory about how I think I feel. And where I'm going with this is uh, bottom surgery. And one of the things I know that I said, and I think it was on It's a Man's World, I did that for 32 weeks, 33 weeks, something like that. Asked if we, which bottom surgery would we choose if we had a choice? I mean, if we could. And I think I said, uh, you know, the phalloplasty hasn't been perfected. Uh, maybe once they do, da da da. Well, what I have found out uh, via other people in my support is that the doctor, on a consultation, the doctor said the pictures on the internet do not do the physicians justice. That there is much more going on, and there they have per, they have. Uh, not perfected, but they have gotten so much better in their work as they, you know, keep practicing and, and practicing that they've uh, gotten this technique better and to function better and to look better and to be more minimal than what it was. You know, there's been some guys that's had up to seven to ten surgeries just to get one surgery right. And they're doing this basically now in all in, I think it's just one. One of them is, I'm not sure. But, <clears throat> so one of my things was I would always choose the Metoid because of the way the fallow had looked on the internet. Now I'm faced with saying, hey, don't decide anything until you do a consultation and get personal pictures or view of pictures from the doctor themselves on their work up to date and so um, we've been discussing that now let me back up a little bit about the dysphoria I've talked about the bathroom sitting and peeing and <clears throat> there's another thing that I and I kind of talked about you know, sexuality wise, sexual wise, you know, I didn't like nor allowed penetration. So here's where I am right now. If someone wants to say, hey, right now, if you could have bottom surgery, what, and you only got a ch choice for one surgery, what would it be? Honestly, If it was separate, the vaginectomy. Because although I have all the other dysphoria, that dysphoria for me is the worst. Just knowing it's there. Just knowing that that is a part of me that shouldn't be there. Now you say, hey Ethan, wait a minute. You know, your genitals don't look like guys' genitals. And you would think that that would be more important to you. Well, I don't think the penis makes a man. And there are all kinds of looking penises out there. And those, how do I say this? 
this is just my feelings, guys. Um, I would rather deal with an enlarged looking clitoris than to have a vagina. That's just me. If I had to choose, the vagina would go. Hands down. Um, Of course, in a in a you know in a perfect world, uh, I'd get the phalloplasty with the vaginectomy and you know all that stuff combined, and it may happen. One thing that I'm working on is losing my pelvic fat and trying to lose some fat on my body and get healthier and prepare. Cause I have a I have a friend who's on T six years and is very his equipment works in every which way but has been given the opportunity to have bottom surgery and he's going for that the phalloplasty like he said you keep growing so you guys who are on T for under a couple years unless you've gotten a lot of really good growth uh, try to hold out on it, you know, and, and get some more growth if you're going the metoid. But the metoid is going to work with what you got. And with all the fat and stuff, I just don't think I got a whole lot there. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer, work on myself, self uh, more, try to get healthier. I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty strong guy, but I don't have my endurance back yet and my fatigue is still very high up on the charts and uh, so I'm working on those things one at a time so that's what I'm I think about bottom surgery bottom dysphoria uh, that's where how I deal with mine um, it's really hard uh, Remember when you do your research on the internet that it doesn't show everything. To get a good look at what a doctor, if you're interested, can do, contact them personally. See if they can personally uh, give you a link to see all their pictures, their updated pictures, that kind of thing, those kind of things. Um, make sure you write down your questions because I know me, I forget a lot of my questions because I don't write them down. So that's something I've got to do along the way too before I initiate looking at bottom surgery. So here's my take on it. Lower dysphoria, bottom surgery, and uh, I'll be doing a video by the end of the week, first of next week, on my two years and four months on T. You guys take it one day at a time. Always, always try to make your journey as simple as possible. Bye.